Hey guys, so today's video is going to be two first impressions in one, two wear tests in one, I just finished running and I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Woo, I need to work out more. The sun is blazing through my windows this morning. If I'm washed out, that is why. It is pretty early. Well, I mean, it's not early. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. 10, 11 to be exact. And like I was saying, we're doing like a wear test, first impressions type of video today. I was actually only gonna dedicate this entire video to this bad boy right here. I'm so excited to use this. Look at this beauty, it's like hot. It's like you don't wanna touch it because it's so hot, you know? It's like. This is the new Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. It says it's a long wear fluid lip color, basically a liquid lipstick that's supposed to be long wearing. I am so excited to try this out. She only has one shade that has released so far, and it's called Uncensored. And they say it's the perfect universal red for everyone, and I'm so excited. This color looks, first of all, this color is stunning. And not only that, this packaging, look at this. It looks like a really fancy um, nail polish, doesn't it? It is beautiful. When I saw the packaging on this, I was like, Rihanna. That's amazing. I love it. It is so beautiful. And it is a $24 product, which I think is pretty fair for Sephora. There's a ton of other liquid lipsticks that are pricier than this. But anyway, I was going to dedicate the entire video to this product, but then I got this in the mail. I just purchased this and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to include it in today's video. Kind of do like a twofer. This is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. Now I've heard a lot of buzz about this foundation. They have two of them. They have the coverage foundation and they have the serum foundation. I think the serum foundation is the new one, but I picked up the coverage foundation. Well, I picked up both of them, but I got a color that was way too light for me in the serum foundation. So we're doing the coverage foundation today. And I picked up the shade 2.0 N, which is 2.0 neutral, I'm assuming. And I really wanted to try this out because this is a $6 foundation. Well, it's $6.90. Seven bucks for a foundation that is so affordable and I've heard mixed reviews. I gotta be honest I've heard like horrible things, but I've heard really great things as well I'm just nervous. This is gonna break me out, but I don't know. We shall see. I love the packaging of this It has like the soft touch. Oh my gosh. I love it So we're gonna be putting these two products to the test. I'm gonna be wearing it throughout the entire day We'll see how the liquid lipstick looks at the end of the day and the foundation at the end of the day So I know this is random pairing these two together, but I thought hey, why not? Okay, so before I put on the foundation, I'm going to pop on my primer. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I have been back to using this guy. Let me take my hair out of my face and zoom you in a bit as well. Okay, so I'm going to do half of my face with a damp sponge and the other half with a brush because I don't know which way I'm going to prefer, so shake this up and take a couple pumps on the back of my hand. I love that this has a pump, by the way. Super useful. And supposedly this is a high coverage foundation, which it does seem to be covering a lot. I, I seems like really good coverage actually. So it's also alcohol free and oil free and they have 21 shades. I will say that I think this might be oxidizing. Okay, so yeah, this foundation is definitely oxidizing. Can you see the difference? Okay, so I added another layer to that, and I have to say I really like the finish of this foundation. It does oxidize. Not oxidize, it does get darker. I just recently found out the true meaning of oxidize. It just gets like a shade deeper once it starts once it starts drying, you know? So I really love the finish of the sponge. I don't know if I'm going to love the finish with a brush. I might have to go over it with the sponge. We shall see. But I'm just going to put some on my Love is the Foundation a Cosmetics brush. I'm gonna start buffing that in. I really like this finish. It looks very natural on the skin. It has really good coverage and I don't think it's too matte. It actually is pretty dewy. It is a little bit tacky when you touch it as well. Yeah, I would say this is like a more like natural dewy foundation. Like you can see the glow on my skin, which I'm not complaining, but just to warn you guys, if you don't like a little bit of dew, Oh, this actually applies really nicely with the brush as well. I'm super impressed. I thought it was going to look a little heavy, but it doesn't. Okay, so I definitely think it applies beautifully with both a brush and a sponge, but I do think the sponge side is just a little bit dewier. I don't know. Let me just even, even all that out. It is definitely getting darker. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, the rest of my face makeup, my eye makeup, and all of that, and then I will be back to apply 
this stunner. So BRB. Now it's time to apply Uncensored. The applicator is very interesting. It has like this little nubbin, like this little ball. I don't know, it's very interesting. I'm really excited to see how this feels on the lips because I don't think I've ever applied a lip product that has this kind of applicator before. So let's see. This says it's a weightless 12 hour liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish. I'm actually pretty terrible at applying liquid lipstick. It's very, very liquidy. I'm nervous. <laughs> wow, it's so easy to do the top part of your lip because it's so small and round, it like perfectly applies it on the top. I struggled a little bit on my bottom lip, but the top lip is easy to apply. Okay, so the liquid lipstick has officially dried. I tried to make it I tried to perfect it as best as I could, and this is what we're working with. I really love this color. I think it is stunning. I have a nail polish in my winter collection that would match so perfectly with this nail polish. I mean, with this lipstick. It is gorgeous. I love this color, but we still need to see how this wears throughout the day and what it looks like. Now let me do the kiss test. Okay, so it does transfer a bit. It's not completely matte. I don't know if that's just right now. Maybe it'll settle and get more matte as the time goes on because I just applied it a couple minutes ago. But it feels very comfortable. It's not sucking the life out of my lips, but it does look nice and matte. So, I mean, so far so good. I did want to mention the foundation. So when I was applying my makeup, I did my concealer and all of that. I noticed it stopped getting darker, so that's nice. But I will say, oddly enough, oh my gosh, I just realized it didn't zoom you guys in when I was done applying my foundation. Ugh. I'll still give you a close up now. It's just not the same because I have powder, bronzer, all of that. But anyway, I noticed when I was applying my bronzer, it was applying pretty patchy. This side is okay, but this side, I struggled with. I noticed I had like holes in my bronzer and I honestly think it's the foundation because I used my Too Faced, my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer that I use all the time, one of my favorite bronzers ever, and I never have that problem. So I think it was the foundation. It could have been that I only set it a little bit. I got a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder and I just lightly set the rest of my face when I was done setting my under eyes. So maybe I didn't set it enough. I think this might be the kind of foundation you really have to set down and then apply your powder products on top because it might skip on the foundation because I did notice some patchiness here. I tried to fix it, but the actual finish of the foundation is really pretty. But anyway, let me zoom you in. Okay, so this is the foundation on the skin. You can't really tell that much. The finish is really pretty. And it's like a $7 foundation, that's crazy. So like I said, a couple little cons there, but for the most part, I- Oh, what is- what is that? Did I get lipstick on my temple? I actually have a few things I have to do today. I have to go to Kohl's, I have a few errands to run, and then we will check in and see what this looks like at the end of the day. So, let's do that. Hello guys, I'm back. It is 2, 219. I was gonna say 215, I don't know why, but it is now 219. I've had this makeup on for a couple of hours now. I don't remember what time I finished my makeup. It couldn't have been past 11. So I've had my makeup on for about three hours now. So not that long at all. And let me look in the mirror. Okay, so the liquid lip has transferred a bit. Let me zoom you in. Okay, so this is my makeup after three hours. You can see here, my liquid lip has transferred onto my chin. I had some mashed potatoes and some soup. I know it's a really strange combo, but don't judge me. So it did transfer a bit, and I do not like that because I'm very self-conscious about red lips, especially if I'm gonna go out at night. I don't wanna have to be worried about it ending up on my chin, but that's probably because I was eating. And then there is fading like on around the actual liquid lip. Let me zoom you in even more. It's bleeding just a little bit here on the outer corners. That's probably because I didn't use a lip liner. I'm sure this is easily avoidable if you just use a lip liner underneath. I just didn't wanna use it for the sake of this video, but Whenever I put on a red lip, I most of the time put on a lip liner underneath. Not only does it help you get like the perfect application, but it helps your liquid lipstick from bleeding or any other lipstick from bleeding. So I mean, it sucks because it's only been three hours, but I'm not super concerned because I think with a lip liner, it should be fine. As for the foundation, I think it looks pretty good. It's only been three hours, but it's holding up well. The only thing I will say, I don't know if I'm crazy. When I look really closely, I feel like I'm seeing little bumps underneath the foundation. Like if it's, Irritating my skin a bit. I don't know. I see little bumps. At least I noticed earlier like in the sunlight I was like hey are those like bumpies under my skin, but maybe I'm crazy I'm actually gonna go now to Kohl's I'm gonna go with my mom and then when I come back I'll probably update you guys or I'll probably see you guys at the end of the night 
Okay, I am back for my final check-in. I'm here to wrap up this video and tell you my thoughts, and boy, do I have some thoughts. Okay, so it is 7.30 p.m. right now, so that means my makeup has been on for like nine hours, which I think is a good, a good test. Let me start with the liquid lipstick, okay. It's not looking the best, but honestly, I think that is a quick fix with a lip liner. But yes, it is bleeding around the edges, and after so many hours, it does look very dry on the inside of my mouth. Like you can see right here, it looks so cracky. But my lips were very dry today anyway. Like I've, ha I've had some I've had some dry lips this past week. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I took off all my nail polish. Don't ask, I just sat there and started chipping my nail polish because my friend Stephanie came over and she was like telling me a story. And I was like really into a story and I was just like chipping away at my nail polish. So I have to do my nails, but anyway, back to this. So I do think I'm still gonna really like this once I use it differently. I want my lips to be hydrated and I wanna put on a lip liner because, I mean, look at it. I think the color has stayed there pretty nicely. The color is still like on my mouth and it's been nine hours. Sure, it has faded off the inside, but I've been eating all day. Color-wise, I think it's lasted pretty well. But now let's go into what I feel about this. I told you guys at the three hour mark that I liked how it looked, it was looking fine, only I felt like it was kind of breaking me out. I definitely see my skin bumping underneath. And besides that, it did not end well. I mean, it was going strong for the first three hours and then after the fourth hour, it took a wrong turn and now we are here. Like the area here on my nose looks cakey. The in, in between my brows, that looks cakey. It has faded off on my chin and nose, but I mean, that's not that's not too bad. It's been nine hours. I mean, it has stayed on my face pretty well. Like, I'm not gonna lie, look, my bronzer is still there. That's pretty epic. It's been nine hours. I think it does last a long time, but it just doesn't look good in this area. It's a little too makeup y for me, and I'm afraid it's breaking me out. And also, my friend Stephanie came over, like I told you guys, and we were sitting outside, and she was kind of like looking at my face, and she was like, what foundation are you wearing? And I was like, why, do you hate it? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> Which is why I love asking her makeup stuff because she's always very honest about it. And yeah, once somebody tells you that, you're like, oh, great. So I mean, even Stephanie noticed that it was looking a little bit cakey. So yeah, guys, um, this foundation isn't my favorite, but it was so affordable, so it's like, I don't know. But yeah, those are my thoughts on those two products. I hope you enjoyed this like two for one wear test. Let me know if you wanna see videos like this in the future. And also let me know if you have these products, what you think about them. Like give me your review on these down below. But that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh, it's like tss. ooh. This is the new <clears throat> But then I got this in, a, in the mail. But then, All right, so now it's time to apply some uncensored. All right, so now it's time to get uncensored. I can't, I can't do anything in this house. I can't do anything, I'm moving out.